Hey everyone, um, I'm just going to talk about this Princess Trust thing. Um, for the people who actually don't know what the Princess Trust is about, it's supposed to help people either get a job or start their own business. Um, I've got mixed feelings about the Princess Trust. I mean, I don't know how to put it. It's like, they're not the type of company to give you support at all. I mean, it's like the claim that they can give you support in the sense where you think, oh yeah, I've got a good business idea, I would like some funding. I understand people where you're coming from. It's like, I've always wanted to do a job, like, regardless. You know, but with my disability that I've got, it's put me out of work. So, really, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to be self employed. And I thought, well, Obviously, this was like back then that I thought the Princess Trust be worth my time, but obviously not. Obviously, when I did the course with the Princess Trust, and you know, I did my business plan, you know, the ex income expenditures like you normally expect to do. Um, but yeah, mostly they give you support in some way, like you have to like understand the difference between a sole trader. A limited company and a public ability company, or say LTD and a PLC company. And then also you have to understand how to register, um, the benefits, the pros and cons. And then you'll see it's got down to the marketing, then you'll see who's, going to, who's your competition wise. You know, that's we got on some of the in the business, which is also how it's why I understand. You know, but what I can seem to grasp my head around is that. You know, people like me, you know, the Princess Trust never gives people the chance from what they claim. Like, I look upon the fact that if you want to run a business, then why can't the Princess Trust give them this first opportunity to see if it works or not? If it doesn't, with their funding, then at least they can't say, I didn't try. Do you know what I mean? Because I've tried to be self employed many times with different projects, but through the Princess Trust. Um, that can have ranges from education programs, which is my reptile and cat ones, one obviously that didn't even work as planned for me. Um, I was planning to start, um, I think, of some sort of youth club centre, and same again, more funding. So. That um, seemed to give me, you know, bells. That the fact that the Princess Trust is a waste of time. All I got in the end was just a certificate, and that was it. And I thought, right. So I basically came here, did my course, and for what reason? I don't understand. I really don't. <sighs> um. I don't know what to say, I mean, I don't know. Like, do you think the Princess Trust is worth your time or what? Because obviously, in my experience, I don't think it's even worth the t your time at all. You know, obviously you might get better luck when, when you submit your business plan ideas to them to try and get funded, but, you know, in my point of view, you know, the amount of times I've tried to get funding with them, I've had no luck. You know, it's like when they say that you're supposed to get like a 12 month mentor, I think. I'm not entirely sure, I could be wrong on that, but obviously, you know, mentor is a person, a person who, a person who helps you along the way, you know, to give you advice and what to do, especially with HMRC, tax return and self-assessment, you know, and that kind of nature. But I'd never got anything like that. It's like when I was, was trading, um, doing, buying, selling games. You know, I've established up, which is a solid trader. But then um, it came to the point where it wasn't working as planned. So obviously I had to cease trading. But obviously, stupid me, totally forgot to inform HMRC that was longer than trading. I had to cease trading. And um, it didn't take long for HMRC to send me a letter saying I only fine of £100. 
But um, Princess Trust never told me that. So, you know, it's like a backslash against between, you know, who was the blame. You know, HMRC could say, well, you know, it's your fault for not ask, asking them. I was, I, was, I was like, well, why would I need to ask them for? The whole idea is that they're supposed to tell you this sort of thing. You know, they can't expect people to know these sort of things, if you know what I mean. You know, it's just not right, people. I mean, I don't know. It's like, what would you think? You know, do you think the Vince Trust is worth your time? Or do you think it's just a waste of time, people? Because, you know, there's no funding whatsoever. You know, it's like people nowadays have to rely on their own funding by the savings accounts. So, I don't know what to say. But if you've got any experience about the Princess Trust or anything like that, just, you know, share experience in the comments below this video, people. Because obviously, I'm pretty sure everyone would like to know, you know, how we've experienced and was it good, bad, or mixed. You know, for mine, mine was just absolutely just terrible. I've just had a terrible experience with them. And obviously, I don't know what to do. Like, would I recommend going again? Well, I don't know. It's like, well, do I give them a second chance? Well, that depends if they can help me or not. So they claim. Because if they can't help me, then no, no I just wouldn't recommend them. Right, well, I hope this thing plays out in one's minds about the Prince's Trust. But like I said, everyone, if you've got any comments or you know, any mixed reviews about them, then please let everyone know about it. Okay, thank you everyone.